Okay, Rafe, you blew Allison off, so stop thinking about that look in her eyes, because you know it was the right thing to do. No more distractions. Kevin and Lucy, when it comes down to it, these two are never able to resist each other, so I'm just giving them a little push. And giving my cousin a push means mountains are gonna move. Her love's that contagious. Ian and Eve, inching closer, making more progress than I could have hoped. Thanks to Allison's idea and a dash of magic. It's hard not to let go of the bad and remember all the good in your life when she's around. It's... On to the couple at hand. There's no doubt they love each other too, but their love's threatened by a dangerous external force. Chris Ramsey. This should be a no-brainer, even for you, Frank. Get out of Karen's life, she lives. You don't, she dies. You actually think by getting rid of me, Karen will fall in love with you? She's already falling in love uh, with me, Frank. You, you, you're crazy. And you're a distraction that neither of us need. So what is it gonna be? No, 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 don't do it, Frank! I'll back off. What's that? I said I'll back off. Good choice. <laughs> when is this gonna get easier? What's going on? Hey, Thornhart, get your coat and hat. We're going on a family outing. I thought we'd take Danny on his very first sleigh ride. Eve, I've... Uh... Yeah, come on. It's my turn, Thornhart. After the gesture you made with the Christmas tree, you know, it's my turn. I want to do something. That's what the holidays are all about, right? Right. And you said we should be celebrating. And we should be celebrating the fact that things are finally back to normal. Hang on a second. I, I appreciate what you're trying to do here. And I'm trying very hard to find the Christmas spirit. But you can't possibly think that things are back to normal. Oh, my goodness. This is perfect. Look at this. Don. Don, these little pom-poms match that suit I bought for my trousseau. Perfectly done. Get over here. Look at these pom-poms. These are love great. Them. Vogue, have mercy. What? Do you, do you think I've... Gone a little overboard? Oh, oh, is that my back breaking? Well, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm not oh. supposed to know that my wedding's back on. I, I have to be nonchalant casual, right? Exactly. Right. But you know what? I tend to go overboard for just regular parties, right? Oh, no, no. no yes, please, yes, please, yes, no. yes, yes. But I have to handle myself calmly, mm. coolly, be nonchalant. I can do it. But it's going to be hard. Yeah. Oh, Doc. Doc is just being so darn cute with this. Don't you think it's cute and so romantic? Yeah, well, I'm going to sit down now. Good idea, Don. There's a little bench right in that corner, right over there. Oh, <laughs> and Doc is being very sneaky, really, but it is so romantic. I saw that scar first. I saw it. Hello. Uh, actually, I was just on my way to see you. I just had to make a stop first. Well, I just wanted to stop and pick up something for you. Yes, I know I don't have to, but it's the least I can do for you since everything you've done for me coming back here. I'll be there soon. Okay. Oh, uh, miss, yes. could you wrap this one for me? You must have a very lucky lady in your life. I'm the lucky one. Doc? You shouldn't have. I know that our marriage is strained, but I thought that when you changed your mind about the Christmas tree, that that was your way of saying that you were ready to move on. I, I want to get past this as much as you do, but it's going to take a little more than waving a magic wand and buying the Christmas tree. There's a lot of damage been done in both camps, and we can't pretend it didn't happen. Okay. Well, here it goes. I'm... I'm having a hard time getting... Getting past the fact that you believed all those lies about me. And 
I'm having a hard time knowing that I broke your trust in me when I went and found comfort in another woman's arms. Now, are you saying that you can forgive me for that? I'm trying. I really am. In fact, that's where I went last night when I left here. You went where? You went to see Lucy? Yeah, I did. Because Lucy and Kevin are having this big Christmas party. And I wanted to go over there in person and tell her exactly where she could stick her invitation. I, I guess I'm not as over it as I thought I was, right? So much for the Christmas spirit. Well, she did say something that actually made me think about some things. What's that? She told me that I should take a look in the mirror and accept some of the responsibility for what happened. I mean, I've been going through the motions with you, and I've been saying some of the words, but I haven't said the words that are the most important. I haven't said that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Archie. <sighs> Took a lot of time to get to this place, didn't it? And it's going to take a lot of time to get back. But God willing, we have it. But for now, what do you say? We, we take a curious little boy on his first sleigh, right? Hey, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Well, I wanted to stick around and see how you were reacting to the medication. Better, definitely. But nowhere near 100%. Well, we will get you to 100% in no time. And I am going to stay here by your side to make sure of it. You don't have to do that. I've got Frank to take care of me now. No. Don't push her away, man. You may think you're doing the right thing, but you're not. You, you can hold on to her. Trust that. Come on. Well, yeah, actually, Chris really should be the one taking care of you. What? You, you need a doctor around who knows exactly what's going on with you. Yeah, and he'll be coming by regularly to check up on me. I thought that was the plan. You don't have to be here around the clock. Well, not necessarily, but I think someone should be here all the time, just to make sure. Right. Frank, you said you could take time off work, right? Yeah, I, I can. Uh, actually, I, I did, but uh, for a different reason. What are you talking about? I'm not going to be around, Karen. No! Tell her the truth. Don't let her think you don't care. You're not going to be around. Where are you going? Well, when we were broken up, I made plans to take a trip with Neil to visit Joe. And I, you know, I don't want to disappoint him and not go. How long will you be gone? I don't know. It could be a while. You found out yesterday that I was dying. I may be recovering, but I know you won't leave right now. Chris says you're out of the woods. You'd postpone your trip till you were sure. I know you. Something else is going on here, and I want to know what it is, and I want the truth. So, who is that lucky lady in your life? <laughs> I was going to surprise you for Christmas. Oh, Doc, you, you know me so well. I was just looking at... That exact same scarf. How about that? Well, what do you <laughs> and, and, you know, uh, this is, I, I couldn't even be more surprised, actually, because not just the fact that I was looking at the same scarf, but I'm really surprised that you're doing your Christmas shopping for me so early. You don't usually do that. Well, I wasn't. I, I haven't, but, well, I was here, and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, Merry Christmas. Oh, Tom, thank you. I cannot tell you how much this means to me. <laughs> oh. Lucy, are we done shopping for your wedding yet?
Tired of spending too much? One of our employees is getting married. You? <laughs> and he's just kidding me that I'm doing so much for her that it's almost like it, it, it was my own wedding. Isn't that right? You know, I think you're so funny you could do stand-up. Must be some employee. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What, Don? She's been with us for several weeks. Mo years. 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 She's been with us for several, several mm. years. And, and I just can't do enough for her, Don. Uh, perhaps you need to go. Okay. okay. Oh, gosh. Wait here. Yes. Okay. There you go. See, Daisy. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um, where were we? I don't know. Oh. I know. I, w I was just going to ask you if maybe we could um, get together to talk a little later. Today? Oh, uh, no. Not today. I have a patient. Maybe tomorrow. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. Why? No reason. You, you just seem a, a little different. I'm tired. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. Well, you know, last night I, I did try and call you several times, and um, you weren't home. Why, why weren't you at home? I'm not asking you that. Uh, I'm taking it back inside. I'm, I'm erasing that. I, I, I didn't mean to sound like a woman who was checking up on somebody, which is Lucy, as far from the truth as it could it's be. It's okay. I was working late. That's why I'm tired. By the time I got home, it was just too late to call. That's all. Right, that's all. I knew I knew that. Of course, it makes complete sense. Sorry. Um, well, maybe we could talk later. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Ta. Ta. Okay, that was very smooth, nonchalant. Why didn't you just get a Christmas light and interrogate him under the bright light? Hey, psst. Get, get over here. What are you doing, Mr. Almost Blow Everything? Also, Mr. Spoiling a very romantic, sweet moment there. What were you thinking? Oh, my gosh, the scarf. I love, I love the scarf he gave me over there. How rude could I be? Ouch. Well, for another special woman... Very special, yes. Okay, maybe next time. Bye. What did Quartermain want? He wanted me to speak at a conference about returning to work after childbirth. Mm, and why wouldn't you? Because it's tonight, and it's out of town, and that means I would have to leave right now, and that would ruin our completely special day. Excuse me. What are you doing? Alan. Hey, Thornhart. My wife changed her mind. She wants to speak at your conference. She'll be there, I promise you. All right. See you at work. What are you doing? I, uh, I don't know. I just had us getting back to normal. That's what we want, right? Right. So let's do it. Get back to being doctors, helping people, speaking at conferences, juggle our lives and our work. We enjoy that. You're right. You're right, I can't remember the last time that you and I had a conversation about work and about being doctors and babies and... About normal things. It might take some time, but we'll get, we'll get back to it. Okay. I'll speak at the conference. I... I really... This is ridiculous. Just tell her the truth. Go on! Fine. He's got a thing going with Gabriella. Yeah, he hooked up with her right off the rebound with you. See, I thought he should tell you himself, but clearly he's too much of a coward to do that. I thought you should know. Blow him out of the water, Frank, come on! Besides, you've seen for yourself how they're joined at the hip. It was just a matter of time before you found out. Tell me this is a bad joke of his. Yeah, Frank, tell her. Tell her! No, you tell her. Tell me what? Chris threatened to let you die if I didn't leave you. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what you would do, Chris. You threaten anything to get what you want and have things your way. But you know what? I'd rather be dead than away from Frank and stuck with you. Stuck with me. Well, then, fine. You two enjoy your final few days together because that's all you have. How could you be so stupid? I'm betting even a snake like you wouldn't go so far as to let Karen die. Well, you bet wrong, Frank. So you two kids, you can say goodbye to the precious antidote. I don't think so, Chris. 
Even people without love in their hearts can have a few seasonal adjustments. You're going to make this right for them. And your punishment for being such a complete jerk is that you will not be able to lie to anyone, including yourself, until I leave Port Charles. You know something, Frank? You're right. I am a snake. <laughs> what? What? Chris, what is it? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with your face? You see, Karen, it's the truth. I fell in love with you, and I was going to do anything to make you fall in love with me, including breaking off your engagement. That's why I planted the cocaine in your purse up at the cabin. That's why I took you to the cave. You see, there, you would become terrified, and, and you'd move in with me, you know, to keep up the lie. And here's the kicker. I was going to keep you strung out on the medication just so you'd become dependent on me, fall for my shallow act, however long it took. You scumbag. Yeah, yeah, scumbag, that's me. Why are you admitting all of this now? Oh, God, I don't know, but you know what else I'm going to do? What? I'm going to give Karen the rest of the antidote. You are? Yes, I am. I'm going to make you well without any personal gain to myself. This doesn't make any sense to me either, so don't ask. You know, Karen, it's just that I don't deserve you. <laughs> I don't really deserve anybody. <laughs> Not that I wish you too well or anything, because, well, I don't. Because I'm too selfish a bastard to give a damn about anyone but myself. Okay? <laughs> I have to go. What was that? I don't have a clue. That, my friends, was a true miracle. <laughs> you bought another scarf for another special woman? Livy. That one is for Livy. You, you bought the same scarf you bought me? You, you, you bought that scarf for Livy, too? Well, why not? You like it. I, come on, Lucy. <laughs> you have great taste. <laughs> oh, boy, Doc, haven't you learned anything about fashion since we met? What? Well, uh, uh, you, you don't buy the same gifts for the women in your life. You know, it's like the cardinal sin of fashion shopping. It is? Yes, yes. I mean, what if we showed up at the party wearing the exact same thing? That'd be awful. Or it's like those actresses on the red carpet when they realize they're both wearing the same thing. They almost get into a huge cat fight. No, 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 no. It's wrong. You have to treat the women as individuals. You know, we like to be special that you picked out a certain something just for us. Oh. Right, 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 right. I tell you what, why don't I help you pick out something else for living? Thanks. Okay, yeah. okay, let's, oh no. Oh, yes, ooh. Yeah, you think? Yes, yeah. don't you think this color would be beautiful? Oh, yoo-hoo, miss, hello. Oh, hi, thanks, listen, would it be okay if he exchanges this scarf for the one he just got? No problem, they're the same price. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. See, now, aren't you lucky I was here? This is my lucky day. <laughs> well, love to chat, but I got to get back to the lighthouse. The li lighthouse? I, I thought you had a patient. I do. I do, but, uh, well, that's in about an hour, so I thought I'd just, you know, swing by the house. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. You know, maybe we have time to chat about the party and all. You know, what, what if we had traffic? The lighthouse is like... 10 minutes from General Hospital. Um, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd sort of think maybe you're trying to get rid of me. No, of course not. Well, we have time. Let, let, let's go. Oh, we'll, but, we'll uh, go you know, I can, I can follow you in my car. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got held up, but I, I'll be there as soon as I can. Doc? Okay. Come in. <laughs> your mother's off doing something very, very important, but she'll be back tomorrow, and you'll have both of us at your whim again. All right? Hey, listen. I don't want you to worry, okay? And your mother and I are having a few problems, but we'll work it out. Because I do love her very much. And you're right. You know what? I should tell her. Uh, I should tell her as soon as she gets back. Hi, yeah, this is Dr. Lambert. I'm supposed to speak at the conference tonight, and I think that I wrote down the directions wrong, so could you help me, please? Thanks. 
then right. Stay tuned for scenes from the next poor Charles. Miracles happen. You're my little brother. And I had to protect you because I loved you. Oh, my God. Living. No, no, you two just go right ahead. I'm just so glad you're back together again.